Okay, quick little tutorial for using the Icon BN programmer. Once the software is installed on your desktop, you'll see an icon right there. Double click it to open it. If it's the very first time that you're ever using this, there's not going to be anything here. In, in this case, I'll have a list of databases and the most recent database that I've opened will be displayed. To establish a, uh, to create a new database and establish a connection to it, you're going to do the following. You're going to hit File, New. And we'll wait for it to think here for a minute. You can save the, the file where, wherever you prefer. Go ahead and give it a name. We're going to call this test number three. Uh, the save as type. This is based off of the software version of the phone system itself. In, the, in this case, the system I'm connecting to is version 11. Uh, this save as type covers anywhere from 10 to 12, so that is correct. If it was an older system, we'd have to go down here. If it was a version 8 or 9 or 6 or 7 and, and choose accordingly, but in this case, what it came up with, the 10 to 12 is actually what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Opens up a brand new database without any programming in it. If we click on different categories like stations and stuff, we'll see that there's nothing in there. So that initial connection to the phone system, you have to click this icon right here for connect to remote system. It's going to open up this window. You're going to put in the internal IP address of the phone system. In the case of the system I'm using to test this with, it's 192.168.1.70. And I'll provide this to whomever I'm working with. Uh, the system password for all these systems is always the same. It's N-E-X-T-S-Y-S-M. You can put a name in if you prefer, your company name or whatever. If you don't, anytime that you uh, establish a connection again to the phone system, you're going to just click on the IP address as opposed to clicking on a, uh, a system name. Hit OK. Down there, you'll, you'll notice that there's a little connection icon, and now it shows that we're connected to this system at version 11 via this IP address. Very next thing that you need to do, and you want to make it, whether this is the first time or tenth time that you're connected to the phone system, always make sure that you get a system download uh, of the phone system's programming, just in case I've made a change remotely, something along those lines. This is just good practice to be in. But especially since this is the first time that we're connecting to this system, we're going to hit this icon right here for download system database. We're going to hit select all, and we're going to hit OK. Uh, something else that, that happens while this is downloading down here, you'll see the, the progress bar. Something else that you want to make sure of when you open up a, a to create a database for the first time, you want to make sure that you have uh, EXT highlighted instead of port. Um, that's just the way that the, the extensions and some of the programming is displayed in this database. We always want to go based off of the extension number and not the port number. It's a little more uh, complicated when you're looking at things via port number instead of extension number. Um, and we want to always be listing in the category view, not the item view. I think this defaults to category, but I think I have noticed on, on some occasions that it may default to port. So make sure that uh, extension is the one that's highlighted here. And this should be done here in a second. Also, we're going to install the, uh, the, the licensing on this database as, as well once this download is done. Um, this isn't something that you need to do, but um, you know it can't hurt to have your list of licensing displayed on this uh, home screen uh, just as a reference. Okay, so our download is done. We just hit OK. We now know if you go to stations, we'll see that this screen has changed. This is a test system. There's not much in here, but you will see it now shows all the ports. There's not a lot of extensions or anything for, for these ports or anything like that, but um, I know that it downloaded. Now back to installing the licenses. You go to communication, install licenses, and this is just pulling the license keys down from the phone server. At this point, all you have to do is exit out. And then on uh, it on this main window here under system, it shows what different licenses that we have, software version, uh, total IP phone counts, uh, stuff like that. So, okay, now to make an actual change. Uh, in this case, we're going to just do a, a basic change, which is probably one of the most common for an end user, and that is changing a uh, extension name. We're going to click on stations. And we're going to find the extension number uh, that we need to make a name change for. In this case right here, I'm just going to change the name of 207, which is currently says server. And I'm going to change that to say phone room. Now, a couple different ways of uploading. If I'm just coming into a system and make one simple name change like that, it's not uncommon to just make the change. Click this little icon right here. You'll see briefly down there that it flashes that I've uploaded just that one little category. You can also upload uh, the whole entire line if, if, if you prefer. 
Um, if you're going to be coming in here to make multiple name changes, sometimes I'll just come in, I'll make the name changes. I'll then click this icon right here, which then lets me upload an entire category. And in this case, because I'm under stations, I would want to click stations. I'd want to hit OK, and then it would upload everything underneath of the stations category. I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. Uh, anytime that you are done making a name change, uh, or any change in the system, you always want to make sure that you end by disconnecting from the system, which is this icon right here. So we'll go ahead and hit disconnect. And then in the future, if you have to uh, to open up a, um, you know, open this back up and make another change, once you, you know, click on the, the icon on the desktop and open up your database to establish that connection, the, the following time, all you have to do is hit this drop down arrow right here, and you can select the, the you know, the IP address of the phone system. It checks the version, establishes the connection, we're connected. Now, once again, we can go through and, and make whatever changes that we need to. Um, when I'm done, I hit disconnect, and that's about it. Hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.